What is up, boys and girls? This is your man, TLD Crabman with TLD Nation. And unfortunately, we were not able to get the audio with this video. I'm going to have to do more research. I thought I figured it out, but I guess I did not. But anyways, this is a video here for snow owl traps and RG traps and tapping traps. I already actually have a video up, but it wasn't very descriptive. It was just showing you guys what the trap looks like. Um, this is for those who want a more in-depth look at it. This is, uh, basically what it is, is it's a simple, easy build for those who want to, um, I guess have a, either, whether you're a Mega Tribe or an Alpha Tribe or whatever the case might be, um, if, if you... Uh, want a simple easy way to tame one of these guys um, I figured y'all would be breeding but if you are wanting to tame one of these it's a super cheap way to do it rather than a bunch of dino gates or any of that nonsense um, it can also be used by beginners you guys can even build one of these to tame a snow owl it, it's basically it's just super easy super quick and uh, super simple for those who want to get a snow owl just just hopping in game say you're just hopping to another server and you just want to grab a snow owl this is probably the easiest way to do it so basically i am on the island i am not in extinction but um and i don't get a wild owl to show y'all but it works with the same principles um excuse me but uh there's no difference from what i'm showing you guys here so what you're going to need is you're going to need three billboards, just like in the video. Um, once you get those three billboards set up, or, well, you're actually going to need four, but once you get the first three set up, you're going to work on your pillars next. Um, you're going to need a total of three pillars, and it will keep anything from going too high. Um, if you find a way that you can install ceilings without pillars, then have at it. If it's cheaper, it's cheaper. But the cheapest way I have found so far is to throw a pillar right here in this corner. And the reason being you want it in the corner is so that way nothing basically can... Uh, you don't want it destroying your pillar. Because if it destroys the pillar, then it will fly out the roof. Now a lot of you guys are like, well that's why we use stone dino gaze. Blah, 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 right? And I totally agree. I understand that. But this way works. And it works really well. In fact, we've used this trap probably several times. The same trap probably several times. The snow owl and the RG just doesn't do enough damage. Um, even using primitive uh, equipment or tools to knock out a creature, it still won't destroy it in time. You'll definitely get the knockout. So basically, um, once you get your ceilings up there, as such in the video, you will be able to um, spawn in, or well, I guess if you wanted to spawn in, but you'll be able to uh, kite in either your RG, your Tappy, your Snow Owl, and I'm pretty sure this this pin would work on a Pteranodon if you needed to, but I, I wouldn't even worry about Pteranodons. But anyway, so in this video, we had actually a really hard uh, time spawning in a Snow Owl for some reason. So I, I cut out most of the, the issues that me and Zero had, but uh, basically we got in a snow owl regardless, and it was tamed, but it still will work. It still worked the same. It didn't. It didn't change that fact. So basically, in the video, you'll see <clears throat> that the snow owl uh, will follow me just like anything else. The snow owl actually has a tendency to fly from an angle and to totally avoid the trap. Um, just like the dino gates, it's a lot easier if you're by yourself just because it won't get caught or kited over to any other players. It may be get caught or kited over to wild tames or wild dinos, but you pretty much shouldn't have to worry too much on that. Um, but as you can tell, that's pretty much what will happen a lot of the time is the snow owl will miss. So what I usually do is make a funnel. Um, I usually make the back end wider and are the front end wider and the back end um uh more narrow and it gives your snow owl more chance of being caught in the trap because the snow owl will come in all the way up against that back billboard so 
In all honesty, you can make the front of your guys' billboard or your cone as wide as you want and just slap that billboard right behind them if you decide to. But basically, you'll throw that billboard right behind it. And uh, for some reason, the first time, uh, the snow owl just totally glitched out of the billboard. Um, I've never had that happen um, on an official server. I don't. I have no idea why the hell it did that. That was the first time that's ever happened. But um, you'll see that I basically I get them out of there, and then I have uh, I replace the billboard and try it again. But it's the same principle. The snow owl will follow you. You'll guide it over into the billboards. And whenever the precious little angel over here flies in, um, you'll just slap that billboard right behind it. Um, at this time, it would be originally it'd be attacking your billboard. So you wouldn't have to worry too much on um, it attacking you. Which, when it for some reason in this trap, uh, the snow owl or the RG, whatever you're taming, is not going to attack you for some reason with this uh, trap. He, they just they don't get aggressive or aggro onto you. They're more worried about the um, the building around it. I don't understand why. That's just how it is. But as you can tell, the snow owl can't go out from underneath the billboard. He is an unenabled wandering. Um, so if he wanted to walk out, he could, but he can't. Um, it's the same thing with, when they're flying. When they're flying, they can't fly underneath the billboards. So I prefer this method a lot more just because of the sheer fact that uh, you can go underneath and use a club if you want to. And you don't have to risk losing your bird. You can uh, keep it in there as long as you want. It, it doesn't take a pin code. doesn't take a door. Um, it, like I said, it's super easy to make this and super easy to use. And if a mega tribe or your alpha tribe complains that, you know, there's traps everywhere, it's not a big deal to go tear it down it compared to, like, dino gates and bear traps and all kinds of other jazz. So this is the method my tribe uses. We've been using it. It works really well. We enjoy using it. It's a lot cheaper. And it's something you can make when you're there, too. You don't have to, like, prep it and then take it with you to wherever you're taming the snow owl. You can literally make it on site. So if you see a 150 snow owl, you don't have to go, well, fuck, you know, I don't have any dino gates. You can quickly make some wood. It costs about 600 wood for the whole thing, um, which is a lot cheaper than the dino gates. Um, because it's like a stack of fiber and a stack of thatch would cover everything else. It's literally just a 600 wood. And the billboards, um, aren't that heavy. So when it comes to carry weight, you're, you're literally carrying like three ceilings, three pillars and three and four billboards. So it's light enough that you could just throw it in your inventory and it shouldn't affect you much now as you can see here i did throw hatch frames up and some rope uh ladders which you can do this but keep in mind that the snow owl or the rg will be aggressive so the odds of them not attacking you is pretty slim they're gonna they're gonna punch you when you're up here so um if it was me i would more use this towards when the dinosaur is already running when it's starting to try and fly out of the pen and get out of the way that's that's when i would use this um other than that i would just stick with underneath but um another bonus is that it is pretty protective against pretty much all dinos except for like smaller ones so obviously rexes and stuff like that you won't want it near anywhere near but they don't spawn near the snow owls the most common problem you'll have is like dire wolves or daedons or what else or saber cats so my advice is once you're done doing this, if you want to throw some spiked walls around the billboards, uh, that works too. Then you kind of have like a little fortress around your snow owl. But um, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's, it's a really simple thing to use. It's not hard. And I, I know a lot of you guys are kind of skeptical. You're like, you know, well, we've been using dino gaze for the last four years. Well, I'm telling you. This is way easier, way, way easier, way cheaper for at least the flyers. Um, it, it's not hard. You guys can test it yourself. Just go out to the snow biome. The, the only thing I would advise is to definitely find 
If you can find some flat land or something that might have a lump on one side, that's fine. But don't don't try to build this on like a side of a mountain or something. Um, if you build it on the side of a mountain, it, it really makes it hard to use. But and we've used it pretty much everywhere, and they're all over our server. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the trap that I built, and I hope it helps out. I really do. Um, like I said, I, I don't get paid to show you guys any of this. I don't, none of that. It's legit just to help you all out. And I try to keep the videos as short as possible for you guys, and they will be shorter in the future. Because if you're like me, you hate all the bullshit and all the nonsense in between trying to learn how to do something. And you'd rather just have the video. So if you stuck it through to the end, I appreciate it. Uh, give me a thumbs up, a like the video if you enjoyed it. And um, if you feel like you want more content, please comment, let me know. Um, I'm all open for suggestions and helping you all out, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this has been your man, TLD Crayman with TLD Nation, and I will see you all on the next video. Peace.